Hey, Chris here from Bover Trout Fitters. Today we're gonna tie an elk hair caddis style but with a marabou body. I like it because it gives you a trailing shuck and a really nice profile on the body. I'm using nano silk thread today because I can reef on the elk hair to get it in place without snapping off the thread easily. It's great material. And we're gonna use a marabou blood quill here and I'm not using the tips, I'm actually using the sides. I'm gonna tear off a little bit as you can see. And I'm gonna get this on to create a tail about the same length as the hook itself. Now we're gonna tie this on with a couple wraps and then we're gonna go and put a hackle on here. This is a ginger hackle. Um, you know, typically I'll tie these flies in a tan color for the Bow River, but we're going to go with this brown color today. Make sure that you always tie it shiny side facing towards the eye of the hook. And the key thing here is we're actually using a smaller hackle than we normally would. I'm tying on a size 12 hook today. I'm using a size 14 hackle because I don't want too much flotation on this fly. I want the body to sit in the water and the elk hair is going to keep it going. So we take that marabou body, as you see there, we just palmer it up the hook and look at that. You get this really nice fuzzy looking body, uh, really easy and makes this fly incredibly quick to tie. Now we're going to palmer our hackle and more loose wraps here. Uh, we're just going to wrap it up and get a little bit of hackle in there, but you can see that it's not really going to extend past the bend of the hook. Okay, we're going to tie that off as well. It is very important that you don't tie right next to the eye. Give yourself a little bit of space. Don't crowd the eye. I'm going to clean things up here a little bit. And then we're going to go to our next stage here. I'm going to use my tying thread. I'm just going to clean up the head of this fly. You can see there, we're just kind of covering everything up and putting down a nice base to then attach our elk hair. Look at that spacing from the thread to the eye of the hook. That's what we want. So I've got a small clump of elk here, here, less is more. Remember, you can always remove excess if you have too much. I'm gonna hold it in place. I'm gonna pinch wrap it down, one fairly tight wrap, and then you get sequentially tighter with your wraps after that. But make sure you're pinching it so it doesn't wrap around the hook. You want it to stay up nice and high like you see there. Now that we've got our elk hair, I'm going to pull out any sort of loose fibers and I'm going to take my scissors and just sculpt the head. Uh, we're going to clean it up nice. Some people like to tie their elk hair caddis with a bit, really big head. It does help the fly float, but I actually like to trim it up a little bit more because caddis have a very thin profiled body and I'm trying to mimic that. Now that I've got that locked in, a few thread wraps just behind the eye, not over the elk hair again, and then I'm going to whip finish and this fly is done. Now when you tie in a larger size, like size 12, now we're looking for more October caddis kind of flies. But in the summertime, at least here on the Bow River, I like to tie these tan and I like to tie them around size 18 to 16. I find that far more effective. And often I won't even use hackle, I'll just do the marabou body and then I can tie dozens of these very easily and very quickly. There you can see the profile of our fly, great flotation, fantastic in mountain streams and absolutely amazing anytime that you have a caddis hatch. And if you want a shuckle Caddis, just cut off that tail and you're good to go. Get all the materials you need at bowretroutfitters.com.